These are the New York offices of the Daily Bugle, where young Peter Parker is employed as a freelance photographer. Peter's work on this large daily newspaper has brought him into contact with some of the more unsavory characters that roam the streets of the city. Boy, what an ugly bunch! The nastiest batch of criminals in the world, and New York's got them. Lucky thing, they've also got Spider-Man. Only Peter's wife, Mary Jane, knows his extraordinary secret that he is not merely the pleasant and conventional young man he seems. Mary Jane. Hi, Tiger. Hi, honey. What's up? I was just on my way to the studio to take today's episode of Secret Hospital. Thought I'd stop by and get a kiss. If you're not too busy, of course. Now there's something I'm never too busy for. <laughs> keep me happy until dinner. See you then? Yep. See you tonight. Help! Help that woman! Me. What the? She's being attacked! When trouble arises, as it does so often, Peter Parker is no longer just an ordinary newspaper photographer, but something else entirely. Something with the strength, endurance, and power of... Looks like it's time to call on... Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Officer, that nice young man in the long underwear saved my purse and all my money. Good work, Spider-Man. It's a good thing you came along when you did. You're the best friend this city ever had. I'm just glad you're on our side. I was just doing my job, officer. Happy to be of help. Young man, I don't know what I would have done without you, but you really shouldn't run around in public dressed like that. Yes, ma'am. I'll keep it in mind. Goodbye, Spider-Man. Young man is a real hero. He certainly is, ma'am. I don't know what this city would do without him. Let's see what's on TV. We interrupt our regularly scheduled broadcast to present this special emergency report from Wilson Fisk, a concerned citizen and one of our city's leading businessmen. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Fisk. Kingpin. What do you suppose he's up to now? Whatever it is, it's bound to be bad news for New York. And for Spider-Man. Fellow citizens of New York, it is my painful duty to make you aware that a monstrous crime has been perpetrated against us by a man we thought was our ally. It has come to my attention that Spider-Man has turned renegade against the forces of law and order. Hey, that was back when Jonah had everyone convinced I was a crook. And I didn't hurt those cops. He is perpetrating one monstrous crime after another all across our city. But I never did that. Oh, my poor doggy. And now he has devised the most ghastly crime of his career. He has planted a bomb that will explode in exactly 24 hours, destroying the entire city. I certainly never did that. I am offering a reward of $500,000 for Spider-Man's capture, in hopes that he can be forced to reveal the location of the bomb before it is too late. We must protect ourselves from the super-criminal Spider-Man. Peter, what are you going to do? If there's really a bomb, it'll be Kingpin's doing. I'll have to find it and disarm it in the next 24 hours. But the police are going to think you're the criminal. Don't worry about that, Mary Jane. The police know I'm on their side. I want an all-point bulletin issued for the arrest of Spider-Man. Consider it done, sir. Who would have thought Spider-Man would turn on us? 
Now we're going to have to turn this city upside down to find him before that bomb goes off. Let's get on it!
You've been disarmed, Doc. Why don't you come clean and tell me what the Kingpin is up to this time? Is there really a bomb planted somewhere? Yes. You arachnoid moron, for all the good it'll do you. Kingpin's fixed it so you'll never be able to disarm it either. It takes five keys to stop the bomb's internal clock, and they have to be inserted in the proper order, or the whole thing goes boom. <laughs> I don't get it. Why would the Kingpin want to blow up his own city? This isn't about one measly city bug breath. It's about world domination and getting rid of you once and for all. We'll be safe when it happens, never you fear. <laughs> Tell me where to find the keys or I'll cut you up for calamari. I don't know where all of them are, but you might try looking in Central Park for one of them. And if you want another, you'll have to go to the sewer and take it away from the lizard. You're using Kurt Connor's affliction as a tool to defeat me? Hasn't that poor man suffered enough? I find fathers to be very useful, and I don't think you'll be quite as sympathetic after he beats you to a bloody pulp. Why don't you, uh, stick tight for a while, Doc? The police will be by after I call them and tell them where to find you. Meanwhile, I've got some keys to find.
Looks like one more bad guy down the drain. What have we got here? A key! Mighty considerate of you to leave this for me, Sandman. It looks like I'm one step closer to spoiling the Kingpin's plan.
I'm sorry, Kurt. I know you can't help the awful chemical reaction that keeps turning you into the lizard. And you can't help what you do when you transform. But I had to stop you. Kurt, are you okay? Oh, where am I? What am I doing here? Spider-Man, what's going on? It's a long story, Kurt. You might say I ran into you while I was looking for something down here. A key. Could this be the key? Where did that come from? I don't know. I never saw it before. Well, here, you take it. Thanks, Kurt. This will help me clobber the kingpin. What's happening to me? Help! <laughs> oh no! He's the lizard again! Sorry, Kurt. It looks like I'm going to have to take you out again, if I can.
Electro, it looks like your circuit has come up a little short. And I thought you were such a live wire. Laugh while you can, Bug Brain. The Kingpin has you right where he wants you this time. Well, now, what's this? How should I know? I've never seen it before. Right. Well, I'll just hang on to it if you don't mind. I'm sure it'll come in handy. You just relax, Sparky, and don't blow a fuse. There'll be someone along to cut you loose any time now. Why don't you relax, Spider-Man? Take some time off! Get away from it all! I know the perfect place! Coney Island! <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Can I bring you back a hot dog? I'd say yes, but you won't be coming back! Is that any way to talk to your old pal? You know me. I always show up when you least expect me. get to Coney Island. Oh, what is this stuff? I'm getting sort of dizzy. What a ride. Are we at Coney Island yet? And how did I get here? Welcome to Mr. World, Spider-Man. I've created my own carnival of illusions deep beneath Coney Island. And I wanted you to be my first customer. What is this place? Thanks, Bubblehead. But if it's all the same to you, I'll just take the key and go. Go? Where? You're only two inches tall, Spider-Man. <laughs> no. If you're going to be squashed like the bug you are, I'll be the one doing the squashing. Let the fun begin.
It's no mystery that you're finished, Mysterio. Why don't you admit defeat and hand over the key? The key? You could have had the key long ago, Spider-Man. If you were half as smart as you think you are. What are you talking <laughs> about, Bubble Brain? I didn't see any key. My point exactly. The key was there, but you didn't see it. If you want it, you're going to have to go back in there for it. Don't do anything I wouldn't do while I'm gone, Bubbles. And give my regards to the police. Kingpin's making another broadcast, and I thought this might be the best way to see it and stay out of sight. Time is running out for New York. Spider-Man, that enemy of all that is lawful and good in our city, has still not been apprehended. I am increasing the reward for his capture to one million dollars in hopes that he will be apprehended before it is too late. Anyone having any information concerning his whereabouts should contact me at the Fisk Building in Midtown Manhattan. Spider-Man must be brought to justice. Gee, that guy's convincing. If I didn't know better, I'd be out looking for me. I'd better find that bomb before somebody takes advantage of King Ben's offer to become an instant millionaire. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special bulletin. Mary Jane Watson Parker, well-known star of the popular daytime drama Secret Hospital, has been kidnapped by Spider-Man. The fugitive supervillain has sent a note to Wilson Fisk at the Fisk Building in Midtown Manhattan, threatening to kill Miss Parker unless all attempts to capture him are called off immediately. We'll be bringing you more on this situation as it develops. Mary Jane kidnapped? This has to be more of Kingpin's doing. Well, he's gone too far this time. I won't rest until she's safe, and until I see Kingpin behind bars.
time you super villains ever learn. You could have saved yourself a lot of bruises by just handing it over, Hobgoblin. Is this what you came for, Spider-Man? You're wasting precious time, fool. If you want the key, you can fight him for it. <laughs> well, nobody ever said being a hero would be easy. Leave it to me to poison your chances, eh, Venom? I don't think you'll be needing this anymore. Don't count me out yet, Spider-Man! I don't need spider sense to tell me I haven't seen the last of him.
Mary Jane is unconscious, but she'll be okay. Once the cops dispose of Kingpin, I'll get her out of this place. There's your real criminal officers. You'll find his bomb in the other room. Disarmed with the keys I took from his henchmen. We have a lot to thank you for, Spider-Man. And a lot to be ashamed of. To think we believed you were the bad guy. Mistakes happen, guys. The important thing is, we're all on the same team. This is all very touching. But you're wasting these officers' time, Spider-Man. My lawyers will have me out by dinner time. Justice is never a waste of time, Kingpin. Hi, Tiger. I knew you'd show up in time. Well, I didn't want to be late for dinner. After all these years, Spider-Man's finally going to be behind bars, where he belongs. You know, maybe you shouldn't have been in such a hurry to print that headline, Jonah. We don't have all the facts yet. Mr. Jameson, the city death said to hold that special edition and reprint the front page. Spider-Man's innocent! What? No! He can't be! Oh, he's pulled them again! Goodbye.
Yes, Spider-Man. I'm going to miss outsmarting you. <laughs> Mary Jane! Spider-Man! What's going on here? Kingpin's your man. His bomb is in the other room. I disarmed it with keys I took from his henchmen. You're under arrest, Mr. Kingpin! We're sorry for thinking this was your doing, Spider-Man. You're wasting these officers' time, Spider-Man. My lawyers will have me out by dinner time. Oh, and it's a shame about the young woman, isn't it? Goodbye, Spider-Man. We'll meet again, I'm sure. You'll pay for this, Kingpin! <laughs> <laughs> I swear you'll pay! This man has been hurt, officer. I don't care what you say he's done. I can't let you disturb him until his condition stabilizes. Okay, Doc. But sooner or later, that mask has got to come off. I've got to get out of here. Fast. Lucky I've also got the healing ability of a spider. Not a mark on me. We got something special for you, Sarge. Spider-Man, huh? This ought to make the Chief happy. Put him in a holding cell until I can call the Feds and find out what they want to do with him. What a night! All this talk about nuking the city's got this town crazier than usual. And that's saying a lot. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, sure, Sarge. And tell the guy guarding the cell to keep his eyes open. These super guys are some slippery customers. Whatever you say.
Gotcha! <laughs> 